small businesses, as you well know, especially our restaurants, really feeling the impacts of social distancing. Uh, some have moved to delivery and carry out orders, and one Aberdeen deli started a campaign to stay in business while helping healthcare professionals on the front lines. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs has a story tonight from Aberdeen Proving Ground. During lunch rush, this place would usually be packed with Aberdeen Proving Ground employees. But because a lot of them are working from home right now, the owner of the Lunchbox Deli found a new way to sustain her business. And it's all about feeding our heroes. At the Lunchbox Deli on Aberdeen Proving Ground. It's not just service with a smile, it's service for one. Every coffee sleeve goes out with a motivational quote. And every bagged lunch comes with a note, like the one you'd get from mom, with sayings like, you rock, to make days a little brighter. It's my small way to give back to the community, even if it's just giving them a smile. And now the owner, Teresa Ray, is giving back in a new way. She knew she'd see a drastic decrease in business when her only source of customers from the Proving Ground started working from home to stop the spread of COVID-19. How am I going to sustain business? How am I going to keep seven employees employed and working? But she thought of a way to help others and still keep her business alive, calling on her loyal customers. Maybe they would be willing to sponsor their five lunches that they're not purchasing because they're not on post and we could donate it to our first first line responders. And so began the Feeding Our Heroes campaign. For a $10 donation, people can sponsor lunches for those that might need a little extra love right now. Our goal is the ones that are in the middle of this crisis. So Upper Chesapeake Hospital, um, nursing facilities, urgent care. So when I heard that they were going to do it, I thought it was the best, the best news. Denise Walsh got on board right away. Small business is definitely at risk. I would hate to see, they've worked so hard to get here, to hate to see, you know, them not have enough people to support, you know, support them. In just two days, they got 100 donations, but they're hoping to get a lot more to be able to make a much bigger impact, maybe even enough to hire some people who are out of jobs right now. We have a link on how you can sponsor a first responder on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Aberdeen, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2news.